The community service policy is manifold here. Our greater good business model kind of underpins uh, everything we do. Um, and so we want to take that and make that real through our culture. We want to make that real through our practices. So in FY10, we kicked off the Live the Greater Good program. Uh, that was uh, where employees participated about 8 to 30 hours uh, during the course of the year. All that participation was during work hours. That program looks at um, wellness, um, environmental sustainability, leadership, and social outreach. We have activities through Teach for America, Habitat for Humanity, other community um, organizations um, where our employees really are able to engage with and participate in things that affect our community. Um, that's formal, but yet that's a value add to employees because they feel they have a purpose. They feel they have a reason for being here. Um, it's why I'm here. This is the reason that I come to work every day. I led uh, one session on environmental sustainability, so reduction of energy and how we can do that in our community, in our home, in our workplace. Um, and so I gave a, a history of what uh, energy use meant. I gave um, ideas about how you could reduce energy. And one of the most telling items in terms of the impact we have on employees when we do this, and, and something that meant something to me, was one of the employees went home that evening, so right away, and posted on Facebook that he participated um, in a program at work and he learned how to reduce energy. And he even posted, as I recall, a couple of items on how he can change what he does in order to reduce energy. To me, it meant I made some sort of impression. Uh, it also meant that he was turning around and through the power of social networking, uh, spreading that message. And that's, that's why we do this. That's why we're here. Um, that's what the Live the Greater Good is about. One of the things we try to do here at Bird Speeds is to promote outside of our formal programs initiatives that employees want to participate in, uh, connect with uh, them with organizations, uh, facilitate their engagement. One tremendous thing to me that we do is our Planet Earth celebration. Um, that is an opportunity for us to go and promote um, and facilitate in the community um, the message of a sustainable lifestyle. We're here at downtown Raleigh celebrating the 40th anniversary of Earth Day. We're at our wonderful Planet Earth celebration, our third partnership with the North Carolina Museum of Science uh, and over a hundred exhibitors. We, we try to bring together groups that it, it encourage people to live more lightly, to, to consume less, and just different ways that folks can have a better impact on the planet. I think people are beginning to understand the impact of sustainable living, not just for their children and their homes, but for the whole planet. This is the 40th anniversary of the original Earth Day. The original Earth Day was April 22nd, 1970. And I think we've come a long way because we now have created more tools and more resources and more education and more practical, convenient ways for people to live all year long in a way that is more respectful to the Earth and more aware of the fact that we've been using up our resources faster than they can replenish themselves. Uh, another thing that we like to support is sending some folks to Honduras uh, for Habitat for Humanity builds. They go, they participate, uh, I believe it's about a week, they participate in the building, they participate with the families and, and get to learn the, the community and the culture there. Um, and again, spreading our uh, messaging there by extension. And those employees come back um, for both of those programs and all the programs uh, and things that they participate in with uh, a rejuvenated self. Um, with a sense of belonging, a sense of purpose. There is a, an impact on our employees when we support them doing things that they feel is close to their heart. Um, so when they're going to participate, participate in Honduras, you know, that individual will have an individual drive to go there and, and there may be their own reasons to do that. Um, but Burtsby supporting that really uh, touches them I've heard this messaging from them. I've heard them say that to me personally, um, that this is why they're here at Burt's Bees. And by extension, that's why I'm here at Burt's Bees, because I know I have employees working with me and for me that are here for bigger, greater good sorts of reasons. At the distribution center here in Durham, these are shipments that are getting ready to go out all around the world. Fiscal 10 was a strong year for Burt's Bees International Growth. And the good news about our international business growth is that it also gives us an opportunity to work with our international teams around 
practices that reflect the greater good and about uh, working on community outreach and an environmental restoration. So around the world today, uh, throughout the UK and Australia and New Zealand and Asia, and now as we launch uh, in Latin America, our general managers and their teams are becoming global stewards for corporate social responsibility. Uh, and in fact, the champions of ways in which we can implement our greater good business model globally. And we're learning a great deal from each other and we're able to expand our business as well as our commitment to sustainability, and that's good news. The Burt's Bees Greater Good Foundation is the philanthropic arm of Burt's Bees. Uh, the foundation functions as a separate entity from the company, and it was founded in 2007, and today is still a small foundation, but it's an important part of our contribution to the communities where we do business. We tend to focus our financial support and our grants on organizations that are working to eliminate the root cause of social and environmental issues. Um, and organizations that are working on systemic change and on progressive systemic change. We feel that is how we will see change within our community uh, in an innovative, sustainable way. So often our grants will tend to go to organizations that are working on environmental restoration or sustainable community development, on sustainable food systems, and of course on natural health and wellness. Our focus through the foundation is to forge really strong relationships with the nonprofit organizations uh, whom we fund beyond financial donations. In many cases, we've formed long-lasting partnerships with those organizations, either through employee volunteer efforts or through offering, uh, for example, the expertise that comes through our marketing department, uh, or speaking and coaching engagements for nonprofits to help them understand how to build better relationships with the corporate sector, uh, product donations for their fundraising initiatives. Uh, we even have the opportunity, now that we've moved into this beautiful new building in downtown Durham, to offer space for our nonprofit partners for their receptions. We benefit tremendously from uh, the expertise and the knowledge of the nonprofits whom we fund. Uh, they help us beyond measure to understand what the issues are in our community, where the issues are that require uh, the greatest assistance. And in every way, the nonprofits with whom we partner help us become the best corporate citizens we can be in our community.